Errors in your code are unavoidable. And it's important to know when they happen and get enough information to fix them quickly. Writing out error logs is easy enough, but how do you send those messages to Stackdriver? Let's look at how to get your logs in Stackdriver and what you can do from there. This is the Stack Doctor. There are multiple ways to log errors in Google Cloud. You can use logging and set your log severity to error, or you can use error reporting to get powerful tracking and analysis capabilities. Today, I want to show you how both work and help you understand how to choose between them. Let's start with a simple example of a web server written in Node.js. The app encounters an error, so something has gone wrong, but we don't have any other details. You'll want to write those details to an error log, but there are a few ways to do that. Your first option is to use the cloud logging library directly. However, it requires you to explicitly build each log entry by manually specifying your metadata before writing it. This can be useful if you need this level of fine-grained control over the data you're writing, but could be tedious if you're doing a lot of logging. More commonly, you may choose to either use the Bunyan or Winston logging libraries. To use the Bunyan library, simply add it to your code, create a new instance of the logger, and then write error logs using the .error method. Using the Winston library is very similar. Create a new instance of the logger and write error logs using the .error method. In both cases, structured logs will be written to Stackdriver logging. The main difference between the Bunyan and Winston libraries is the verbosity of the resulting logs. The Bunyan log messages contain a lot more metadata, potentially making them more useful, but resulting in higher log volumes and possibly higher costs. Consider both of these factors when choosing your logging approach. So now we have a way to log basic app errors in our node server. From here, we can do things like create log-based metrics to be notified when these errors occur. But what happens if these errors are actually exceptions that contain stack traces? If you log an exception, the full stack trace is available in the log entry, making it easy to understand exactly what happened. However, it's still hard to get your information across your exceptions. This is where you can use Stackdriver error reporting, which automatically identifies exceptions, groups and based in the stack trace, and creates a histogram showing you when these exceptions occur. There's no additional setup needed to get error reporting to identify errors with stack traces in them. You can look at the details of each error to see the full stack trace and the individual log records that contain that error. You can then subscribe to notifications to know when new errors are detected in your project and link errors to bugs to keep track of errors you fix over time. Note that you can actually use the error reporting client to send errors directly to error reporting even if they don't have stack traces. If you do that, they're also written to Stackdriver logging along with other logs you write, allowing you to reap the benefits of both logging and error reporting. You have multiple options for writing errors and exceptions to Stackdriver logging, and using error reporting can be a good way to get a better understanding of how and when crashes happen in your app without giving up the benefits of logging. Thank you for joining me today, and come back soon for more. This is the Stack Doctor. Stay healthy out there.